you started the game, hit a couple of off of uh, corner threes, but just take us through that last one where you side, got the switch, sized up, and then punched. Yeah, I mean, just, you know, I felt I was in rhythm. Um, my three been feeling good all night. Uh, I had missed one to start the fourth quarter that looked good leaving my hand, so I just kept in the back of my mind that I wanted to get to that shot again. And I didn't know what time it would come around, but it was a timely one. I'm glad I was able to knock it down. When you get to that, that switch, is it, I guess, what are you, is that the switch you are looking to get, or does it just happen to be that switch? I don't, I, it, it, it really don't matter to me if I get a switch or not. Uh, I'm going to try to be aggressive regardless of who guarded me. Um, but that was a play that was drawn up. We wanted to set a screen and see what happens after the screen. If they would have had a miscommunication, Book would have had a downhill drive. If they would have trapped or something, then maybe I'd have rolled. And, you know, so we had options out of the screen, and they just did the simple thing and switch, and it's on me to finish the play. So um, I, was, I was just trying to finish the game off. I bet it was a win like this considering the back and forth, and, and you guys able to pull it out. There. Yeah, I mean, you got to give this team credit. Um, Regardless of what their record is, who's on the floor, they play extremely hard. They don't give up at all. And they made big shots down the stretch. Jordan Clarkson made some huge shots down the stretch. Keontae George was great tonight. Um, their whole team, they played a great team game. So we knew we had to come in here and play a 48-minute game. We started off nice. They closed the lead. And, you know, it was an ebb and flow of the game. So that's how, that's how the season is. Um, you know, it's just about finding ways to win. You had a little chatter. You had a little chatter in the corner there. Was that was that with a Sexton? Uh, I heard somebody on their bench say, "Don't leave." And Lori, Lori Markin, had left me open in the corner. As soon as they said that, I just thought it was funny, and um, so I told them, uh, "Next play, you can't leave me wide open <laughs> or the shortest three in the game." You know, uh, I was glad Nurk made an incredible pass and just tried to do my best to finish the shot. Booker had 15 assists, career high. What, what can you say about his playmaking and his passing? Yeah, it was insane. It was insane. From the first play of the game, got me an open three, got Yuta a couple threes. I looked up, and I was like, Shh, man, he got six in the first quarter. Then I looked up again, it's 15 for the game. I mean, it was just so effortless. He wasn't hunting assists. He was just playing in the Florida game, and um, he scored when we needed him to. He just played like a per perfect point guard tonight. One turnover. You know, he's setting people up. It was a great game for him tonight. Only thing I didn't like was two missed free throws. <laughs> Without a, a true point guard, you and, and Book are taking a lot of the the, the playmaking responsibilities. Is that, does that wear you down over a game, or you just take it and you, you like it? No, I mean, I think we're natural point guards, too. I mean, we we natural basketball players. We can play every position. Uh, we don't need anybody to set us up. We can set people up and be set up as well. So um, I feel like we're, we're both you know, feel natural handling the ball up top. It's easy handling the ball up top. You can less turnovers. You can see the defense better. I just think it's easier for our group if we got our scoring threats out top, just putting fear in the defense like that. So. Uh, Guys came in and, and, and made shots. Nas, Nas Little was incredible for us off the bench. You know, I just loved his energy and loved his shot making. Uh, he had two shots, but they felt like they were big shots for us. And I just think we played extremely hard. It was a career high for assists for Booker. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I, I thought he would have more than that. I asked him on the bench, was that a career high? He was just like nodded his head. Yeah, I knew he was in the heat of the moment, but I still wanted to know that little that info. Um, but the one turnover, I mean, come on, man. You got the ball in your hands all game, and you playing in the paint like that, and you don't only have one turnover. And I'm not, I wonder what that turnover was. Um, maybe somebody doubling him and, and stealing the ball out of his hands, but he didn't make bad passes, I felt, the all night. He controlled the offense, and that was an incredible showing by him. I know you said you were going to take a deeper look into the in-season tournament looks, but if you had you guys lost tonight, We'd have been out. You'd have been out. Yeah, we said. Coach said that before the game. And, and next game is not an end season. It's no, only it's third. It's only Fridays, Thursday, Friday. Oh, see, I'm I'm a little bit off on the schedule. Um, but I'm glad we was able to, you know, get back to 500 in the play in. Uh, I mean, the end season tournament um, rankings. Um, uh, we want to be a part of that. We we know how special this is for the league. So we want to put our best foot forward to try to win that. Uh, but and so tonight was a step in the right direction. In the first quarter, you and Book either scored or assisted on 
every every point, 41 points. How how important is it for you guys to set the tone since you're the two leaders and the two vets without without Beal? Yeah, that's the most important thing, and you know, that we set the tone with um, how hard we're going to play. Obviously, uh, offensively, we're going to have the ball in our hands. Uh, but I think to start the game off, um, Boogie and myself were locked in defensively on the game plan and try to, you know, um, execute that to the best of our abilities. And then the offense is going to flow that way. So if we setting a good example um, on the defensive side of the ball, then that's just that's just good for our team. And offensively, we know what that is. We know we're going to have an opportunity to shoot any shot we want, bring the ball up whenever we want. But defensively is where we got to lock in so uh, we can set the tone. So I, th I thought it was good to start the game, and then we just kind of got away from it. It was a, it was a high-scoring game. You got to – some of those nights, you just got to be in a shootout, and tonight was one of those nights. Eric said that uh, Eric said that uh, you guys this should be the standard as far as scoring. Like you said, you think you guys could average 130. That's 130 so, again. Do you, do you feel the <laughs> same with that? 130 is a lot of points, man. You got to make a lot of shots to <laughs> to score 130. But it's gonna be nice when we get hot. That's that's just what it is. Um, I expect our defense to be better than this. Giving up 128 points. Um, that's not our mo. So. Um, yeah, offensively, we could be an explosive team um, if we make shots and if we continue to pass the ball like this, 35 assists. Uh, but defensively is where we got to pick it up. Thanks, Dan. Thank, Thank you, sir. Appreciate it.